Hello. Well, today I'm going to talk about a Christmas classic. Um, <clears throat> that film is uh, none, other than, none other than A Christmas Story. Now, what is this there really to say? Um, it's about a kid named Ralphie who all he wants for Christmas is a Red Ryder BB gun. You know, and throughout the film, that's a recurring thing. And we see his life, how he gets bullied, his parents, how they are. You know, uh, very, uh, not the very loving, and, uh, well, the old man, one might think, as they say, the old man, he might not be considered as loving, but he does love his family. Uh, the mother, you know, she's a bit, you know, I don't know, she doesn't want him to have a BB gun. The main thing is, he'll shoot your eye out. Uh, which is a recurring thing. He'll shoot your eye out. But, um, you know. You know, they're dangerous. And, um. He. Even make, makes, writes a paper about it. He's so proud. Gets a C plus for it, and, uh, and and the and it's a and a note from the teacher on that paper he uh, gave is uh you'll shoot your eye out, um, which is a recurring thing even when he sees Santa, you know, you'll shoot your eye out, kid, ho ho ho. And he also has a, uh, Ralphie has a little brother named, uh, Randy. And, uh, there, there are so many great moments. Um, the author, yeah, Gene Shepard, that's what I, that's what I thought. Uh, Gene Shepard wrote this, uh, film based off of a book that he wrote. What is that book called? In God we trust, all others pay cash. All right. He also narrates the film as Ralphie grown up. And, um, Peter B Billingsley is, uh, Ralphie. Darren McGavin is the old man. Melinda Dillon is, uh, the mom. Um, it's a Christmas classic. I know I'm not talking any real details, even though it's been on, it's been around for thirty plus years. But um, everybody has essentially seen this film, and if you haven't seen it, well, and and if you live in the U.S., TBS, if you have, still have, you know, um, TV. I know many people don't; they just do streaming. Perhaps you can find uh, this film through streaming if you don't like to buy movies or no movies like DVDs and Blu-rays. Sure, you can find it anywhere. Um, but 24-7 uh, TBS, at least I used to, from what I can recall as a kid, would always have a 24-hour marathon from throughout the Christmas day. You know, it's just it was just like this consistent replaying back to back to back and I think another channel TNT did it too and again they're both Turner so that would make sense um, but yeah there's really not a whole lot I can say it's a good film I wouldn't say it's exactly my favorite Christmas film um, I will get into that I will get to that another time um, but I, I yeah I I enjoy this film uh, ever since I was a kid. It's a fun film. It's a fun film to watch this time of year. It's just it's just funny and it's just very it's a very memorable film. Um, when did this film come out? November. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't a box office success. 
exactly. Um, well, it did make uh, twenty point eight million, but uh, it was uh, initially a sleeper film for Thanksgiving. Yeah. By Christmas, the film was no longer playing in most venues. It still remained in hundreds of theaters. Uh, okay, so it did make that. A, it wasn't like an overtime thing, but it was like a, it didn't really do much when it came out. It was just uh, it stayed in theaters for a number of months, and then it did okay. Couldn't remember that. I just knew it wasn't received well. Like people didn't really think much of it. I think around because it came out or around Thanksgiving was a big thing. It was a big problem for it. Um, I guess it should have been released Christmas time, um, <clears throat> and because it wasn't, well, it just didn't uh, really make an impact. It was only. Later on, through uh, you know, later on when it was on TV and then on video, that's really when it picked up. It's really when people responded and people liked it and enjoyed it, as they do now. Um, so yeah, if you've never seen it, um, yeah, I'm sure you can find it somewhere. Somewhere on any streaming service. Um, it's, it's been released on DVD and Blu-ray quite a bit, so I'm sure you can find it at a decent price there if you can't find it there. Or uh, if you still have regular television, you know, watch it there. Watch it when it's on TV. Um, it's 24. It's on a 24-hour loop. Over and over. Once it ends, it's on right after. So uh, you'll have a lot of chances to watch it on Christmas Day. Um, I believe it's Christmas Day. Uh, maybe it starts Christmas Eve. But from what I recall, it used to always be on Christmas. <clears throat> uh, but man, I don't know. I own the movie, so I can watch it whenever. So I don't really rely on. TV anymore in that regard, uh, you know, oh, this this film is going to be on TV, even though I have it, or uh, a show is coming back on TV or something, and I, but I own the whole series, you know, I, I own movies, I'm sure many of you people who have seen my stuff quite a bit know that, but to anybody who's new, you know, yeah, I like physical media. Um, this is a good Blu-ray set. Um, I don't know if the steel book is around anymore. Uh, I'm not saying it isn't, but um, I got it, and uh, essentially has everything I on all the DVD releases. Um, 30th anniversary steel book. Where uh, as previous releases had. This has more, more features than previous Blu-ray and D than the previous yeah, Blu-ray and HD DVD. Yeah. So basically, this is has more features. If you you are into special features, um, this is it. Though there was a collector's edition years ago, like a metal tin with a Blu-ray disc from. Like 2006, well, it was released in 2008, but that uh, included a leg lamp, Christmas lights, uh, you know, the famous uh, <laughs> uh, major award that the old man gets. You know, it was from Fran, uh, it must have been Italian because it was fragile. Uh, however, unfortunately, uh, his wife kind of ruined that fun for him when she said it's, I think it's fragile. It was, oh, yeah. It's like he was so, like, wow, it's, it's must be Italian. Those little quotes like that are just what makes this film really very memorable. Um, 
But, uh, yeah. So I've told you the basic plot, and, uh, if you've had it, or if you have it, give it a watch, obviously, this time of year. If you have, if you don't have it, you can get it. It should be fairly, uh, easy to get, uh, easy to see. Um, yeah. That's a, look at that, that's a frightening face. Yeah. Could be in your nightmares. Yeah. Interestingly enough, Bob Clark, the director of this film, made a another Christmas film, which um I will get to later um, this month. Um, I don't believe this whole month will be completely dedicated to Christmas, but uh, or Christmas films, but. Um, I will do what I can of um, talking about the stuff, the films I own. At least quite a bit of them. There are other movies I want to talk about, but uh, I think because it's December, I should talk about some various Christmas films for sure. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, not too long this time. Uh, not too long of a video. I know I ramble quite a bit sometimes. Um, so I do try to stay on topic. Um, so I, uh, yeah, hope this wasn't just completely boring and uh, uneventful. Uh, this film has been seen quite a bit over the years, so it's like anybody who's talked about it, it's like it, everything has been said. There's really not much I can add to it, um, to the d discussion of this. You know, everything good has been said. Um, and I like it, so every, obviously everything uh, I would say would be positive. <clears throat> uh, be positive. Um, and I just, uh, and also this show is pretty much for films I like. You know, I rarely talk about films I don't like. Um, though there are exceptions, though those have to pertain to, like, uh, certain franchises I enjoyed and then there's an entry or two that um, I don't like and this does have a sequel um, let me see if there's other sequels looking at the Wikipedia page uh, there was another there was a home alone or a home alone well, that's a different Christmas movie. Um, there was a, a Christmas Story 2 back in 2012, which I believe was not a good film from what I can recall. Uh, uh, there are some other films. Um, there there's Ollie's Hop and Noodles Haven of Bliss, which follows the family, but it's a to a camp. Okay. My Summer Story, or it runs in the family. Um, it's, when it, it's called My Summer Story now, but I guess it was originally um, <clears throat> titled It Runs in the Family. I don't know why it they changed the title, but okay. It was ba also based off of the same book, so I guess there's like more stories than just the Christmas section in that book. I would guess. But, uh, I've seen It Runs in the Family, and, uh... I enjoyed it. I thought it was a decent film. Um... It's not... A uh, huge masterpiece as a Christmas story, but it runs in the family, or my summer story, whatever you want to call it. That's what it's called now on like DVD. But it's a very enjoyable film, but it's not a Christmas related. It's just the same family. Um, so I would recommend giving that a look if you haven't seen it. Uh, it is very entertaining. Um, 
Now, it's a uh, it's not like a complete waste of time. At least I don't think so. Um, perhaps you've seen it. Perhaps you didn't like it. Um, which is all right, you know. Uh, this doesn't isn't really prime for a franchise, honestly, in terms of a bunch of sequels, since um, it's very timely and it's like a sequel. It kind of like, what could you do with it? You know, what could you do with a sequel to a Christmas story? I guess with the Christmas story too, they just had an original script and they just tagged that on and had the characters. It, I guess, it didn't have much to do with the original, aside from the original characters. It was Christmas time. From what I've heard, the sequel wasn't very good. So, the supposed direct sequel, you know, I should say, from 2012, so six years ago, uh, came out, and um, yeah. I won't be talking about that. Uh, also, I have no desire to watch it. So, yeah. Anyway, I know I kind of <laughs> talked a bit more, but uh, the thought of sequels and other films that followed this just kind of uh, came into my mind. Uh, so I would recommend uh, My Summer Story. I haven't seen Ollie Hoppenoodle's Haven of Bliss. Um, I don't know if that's good or not, so I can't exactly say watch it. Um, but then again, you don't even have to watch my summer story uh, either. But I just know of all the things that came after this that's like you know related to Christmas Story. My summer story was good. Though it was initially called uh, It Runs in the Family. And I remember it being on TV called that. Don't know why they changed the title. I don't know. Maybe the people who made it never liked that title. Thought it was bad. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I think I've kind of covered the basics that this is this film is a good film. It's a great film to watch this time of year. And yeah, talked a little bit about uh, subsequent sequels, or, you know, or sequels that were made just to capitalize off of this film, which I believe A Christmas Story 2 was. Um, but yeah, uh, hope you enjoy this. If you enjoy this film, watch this movie this time of year, you know. Watch Christmas films, watch great movies, honestly. Movies that you like, that you enjoy. Um, all I can say is, uh, yeah, that's really it. That's all I have. So, I hope you all have a good day. Hope you all have a good week. And I will talk to you all later.